So you probably clicked on this video because you're having trouble with your aerobic system. Uh, so I'll get right to the point. I am gonna be working with 120 volts. So here's the disclaimer. If you're not comfortable with working with 120 volts, which can kill you, I recommend you hire your professional and just watch this video for entertainment purposes. I'm assuming the risk for myself. If you do this at your house, you're assuming risk on yourself. So with that said, let's get started. So the first thing I did once I decided the air compressor pump was no longer working was to test the electrical voltage that should be going to the pump, which should be 120 volts. And so the first thing I did was open this cover, identify which wires that I was supposed to be testing, and then applied my voltmeter. Uh, probes to the appropriate contacts inside the box. And I'm getting 121 volts on those two terminals, which is just fine. The uh, this this box has a like a little miniature breaker panel inside of it. I don't know if that they all do, but uh, here I can show that I've identified the correct terminals by turning off the breaker to the compressor. And upon turning it back on, power is restored to those terminals. So I know that I'm looking at the right terminals that go to the air compressor pump. And so the next thing I want to do is kill all the power to that entire box outside. And I do that by going into the house and killing the breaker that supplies power to the entire uh, aerobic system outside. Uh, once I've got that turned off, I go back and I check these terminals once more, make sure that they're dead, even with the, uh, the little breaker there in the box itself turned on. And so now I know that the system is safe to operate on. And so now it is simply back these screws out, pull the, uh, conductors out of the terminals. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver bit here. As you can see, I had some good contact there after the installers were done originally. This system's about seven years old and this is the first time I've ever had any issue with it. Uh, looks like I had to have a flathead for the ground side because everybody knows that Phillips head screws will not work on the ground. We always have to use flatheads for some reason. Anyway, this system's been in place for about seven years, hadn't given me any trouble until now. And so I think I got probably more life expectancy out of the air compressor pump than, you know, as much as I'm expected to get. And so at this point, it's just uh, pull these wires out, clean this box out, which is, that's how they left it seven years ago. Uh, I can't stand to leave a mess behind me when I do a job like something like this. I don't know how other people get away with it, but they they did it. And so anyway, it's clean now. All right, so out on the ground, there is a uh, air outlet on the pump that pumps air into a pipe that goes out to the waste tank. And so I just uh, release that little metal clip, pull the hose off, and the pump is completely separate from the system and from the house. I purchased this pump on the left, new from Amazon, for about $260 in uh, 2023 money. This is an exact replacement for the seven-year-old pump that is on the right. The model number on this one is HP600117. Uh, and uh, I was a little surprised to find the exact same pump, but everybody's gotta have these pumps, and so there's probably no reason to stop manufacturing them. So on this pump on the right, there is a bolt that is run into a port a bypass port I guess is what it is. The uh, new pump come with a brass fitting and I tested this pump before I brought it out 
And so if you put your finger over the main port on the uh, left-hand side there, then the bypass, all the air comes out that little hole uh, in that brass fitting. And that won't work for this application. And so I am going to remove the brass fitting. And in its place, I'm going to install the factory supplied uh, bolt and that it comes in that little package there you can't hardly see the bolt but it's very small but it threads in there just perfectly with a yep you guessed it a phillips head screwdriver And since I'm going to have to cut the end of this cord off, cut the plug off, I am going to once again test the pump and make sure that, you know, before I alter it and kill the warranty that everything on it is working as it should. I guess this is what they're supposed to do and what they're supposed to look like. I, this is the first aerobic system I've ever worked on, the first one I've ever owned. I got no instructions from the installer when it was put in back in 2016. All I ever got from them was a yearly bill for them to come by and inspect it and tell me that it was working fine. The uh, All the sprinklers on this system, on this aerobic system, are in the backyard. Um, I, I didn't get any say in that at all. The, uh, you know, obviously I would have rather had the sprinklers in the front yard. You know, instead of in the backyard where we always, you know, go outside and kid plays and so forth and so on. I think I'd rather had, a, you know, the sprinklers in the front yard also so that I could have lush green grass out front where everybody could see it. But I did not get any uh, consultation, any discussion with it. Uh, they put all of them in the backyard. And they truly just seem to be more interested in getting it installed, putting the ground and getting away before the homeowner come by to see what was going on. What they would do is leave me a uh, door hanger on the front door after they would do their inspection. And one of the last ones they left me was saying that the system looked like it was working fine, but they couldn't see uh, my sprinklers. And I thought to myself, well, you dumb <laughs> if you had put some sprinklers in the front yard, you'd be able to see them. So anyway, I quit paying them shortly there after because I decided that at $250 a month, or a month, $250 a year, that if this system lasted five years, that'd be $1,250. And I could probably better spend that money toward uh, new parts when I needed them. Uh, and so they haven't been out in several years to look at this. And I don't know what it would have cost to have somebody come out and replace this pump for me. Uh, if you've had this done, you know how much it cost or what you were quoted, please drop us a comment, let us know. But uh, this pump went in just fine. It cost $250 plus tax and it showed up about three days later. So now that I've got the uh, pedestal there cleaned up, got the ant mound uh, swept away, it all goes back together the same way it come apart. Now I think this pad this uh, that it's sitting on has shifted a little bit over the last seven years. And uh, while I was cleaning, I found a piece of brick that got buried. And so I'm just gonna use that to prop this pump up and relieve the strain on that, uh, that rubber connector, whatever you wanna call it, uh, so that it won't be kinked. And then uh, setting the old pump down beside it, kind of give me a good measurement on how long the cord needs to be. And I remember the the old pump, the cord on the old pump was a little bit long. It had quite a bit coiled up inside the ant bed that was there laying beside the pump. And so I am going to insert the new cord through the bottom hole in this box. and. Also, I will cut a little bit more of this off so that I don't have quite so much for the ants to build around uh, once I go back in the house. So 
So yeah, I left my knife in the house and uh, so I don't have anything to really strip this wire with and so I'm gonna make do with what I brought and I nicked that wire good enough that I could pull the sheath off the outside of it and now using the proper tool uh, I'll just strip these uh, leads off a little bit and insert them back into those terminals the same way that they come off. So we got to switch back to the flathead screwdriver tip because we're working on the ground. And I guess you might could use the flathead on the, the Phillips screws there. They look like they may would accept it, but on the hot and the neutral, but. And likewise, I'm going to insert the black wire into the uh, compressor hot terminal. And that's all there is to it. Going to go back and turn the breaker back on that feeds that entire aerobic system outside. I'm going to turn this breaker back on. And the pump is very, very quiet. I've got to get you right down here on top of it to be able to hear it at all. But, uh, yeah, that's all working now, just like it should. I'd like to tell you that I know exactly what this is for. I don't know what this big concrete block is supposed to do. It doesn't keep ants out. It doesn't keep anything out. As best I can tell here in Texas, it shields that pump from the relentless sun that shines upon us 11 months out of the year. So now that the pump's been running for two or three minutes, I'm starting to smell sewer gas come out of these uh, these covers right here, one of these four, or maybe more than just one. But that, that tells me that air is going down into the line into the tank and is doing what it's supposed to be doing. The uh, I don't know how long it'll take to get this cleaned up and get it to where the water coming out of the sprinklers doesn't stink. Uh, but uh, when I do uh, get cleanish water out of those and it quits stinking, I'll drop that in the description of the video. Uh, just kind of give you an idea how long you might can expect expect it to take so anyway uh that's gonna about wrap this one up if you liked it i'd appreciate you give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one so this is this the simple unboxing portion of this um you probably only here if you're looking to buy this particular pump once again this is hp 60 uh 600 uh HP 60117 is the model number. Um, this one come from Amazon. I think you can get them anywhere. It was packed pretty well. It comes with an extra adapter hose and clamps if you need them. I reused what I already had, but I'm going to hang on to those in case it, I need them in the future. The instructions were not very good. And that is about all that is in the box, along with the pump. So, 
I got no instructions from the installer on the original pump that said that I needed to replace or clean this air filter that's on top. Uh, there's a, a notice there. I'd never seen that until I realized the system wasn't working. So uh, I guess if you're going to do proper maintenance, you need to uh, clean that filter that's underneath that enclosure there from time to time. But outside of that, I haven't had any issue with it. 